Oh man, <laughs> I hope you guys are doing good. Let me share something with you real quick. All right, so one of the things that I've been making a mistake upon, I've been making this mistake, but I share these things with you uh, not to gain pity or anything like that. I guess subconsciously I kind of was for a little bit, and so I've been making this mistake and so I want to share this with you because as I'm learning and growing through this, I want you guys to kind of maybe kind of listen and chime in and maybe you can grasp a little something from it, just a little something. So basically I was doing some videos for a while. Let's go way, way, way back to the beginning. I had just started my divorce. You could probably look back. It was probably like six, seven years ago. Um, you, I had a heart attack in between. I stopped doing videos for like a couple years. It was like a huge break. I made another video just saying, hey, chiming in a couple videos. And then I went out for a couple more years, a whole life transformation. I moved back to California and then I started some videos again. Started some videos, then I went off and it went on and went off and on within about a year's time. But most of that time was um, spent kind of talking about the downward spiral of, of you know, uh, uh, of things that were happening. Um, at that particular moment <clears throat> with that said as I'm continuously sharing my story I'm sharing this story and I want to say I kind of I was getting stronger I was getting better mentally emotionally but I was sharing this story with you guys and just like many of you share your story with somebody that may be kind of close or just willing to listen a friend family co-worker and when you share your story you're reliving the past, you're training your, your thoughts, your senses that you've already trained from the trauma, they're tapping on the doors of those senses and those nerves and, those, and that memory bank, and it is creating a, a stronger solid grasp on the pain for you to, it's so difficult to let go of all that pain. And so when we share these stories of, hey, what's going on, John? It's good to, good to meet you, man. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I, I kind of went through that, too. It was just so horrible. I went through this, and I went through this. And I look back at my old, old videos, and you can see the way I am. But, man, it's really fucked up right now. I can't believe this is happening. I mean, yes, things are really bad at times. And I'm actually kind of going through a really tough time right now. And... I, I, I'm just about to, you know, sign on something right now, and I did, and and all of a sudden I really got some bad news, and I'm like, am I am I am I manifesting the greatness? Is it really coming in? And then I started getting into my 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 mood and my, oh my god, I can't believe this is gonna. And I started thinking and speaking the negative that could possibly happen out of this, and I cannot. You cannot. You can't. You cannot, you can't even think and you can't think, breathe, feel anything. That direction is not the right direction. You have to go the right way. So when you're talking to a friend or a family member, a coworker, whatever the case may be, and you're sharing these stories, I want you to trans, I want, I want you to change your, your words. I want you to change your words right now, right now. And all that you ever talk about. Whenever you comment, anything, any time that you ever speak to somebody, even your counselor, your therapist, I want you to talk about the future being brighter. I wasn't able to see her these last, um, you know, few months, but I'm I'm looking forward to seeing her again, and that's going to make me happy. I, I don't want you to talk about the, uh, I haven't seen her, I'm so, I don't want you to cut that part off. I'll, I'm looking forward to seeing her in the future and I know there'll be a moment and I, I can't wait for that moment. I'm going to be so happy. Speak about the feeling, how you're going to feel of the possibility of that future being brighter and more successful and positive. So right now, whatever that you have said in yesterday, and in the past, or whatever you comment down below, and oh, I have nothing to comment positive. No, yes, you do have something to comment down there positively about yourself. Because this is about you. 
It is not about Rocky's video. It's not about Rocky's downfall and this and that. Because I'm going to be okay. I'm going through a tough time. But I'm looking for those brighter days. And I want to show you guys. And I want to reach back and help you guys. I'm not going to give up. I'm not going to stop. I don't care how small of a little channel or how big of a channel. And it becomes so great. That's great. Let's bring more people on this platform and keep pushing and pushing and pushing. There's wonderful guys out there. I want to talk about two of them. And I know there's so many of them. And there's two of them specifically. And I'm, uh, I'm going to try to get the links to their YouTube channel. And I want to link them on there. And I want, I want you guys to go and subscribe to them and follow them. These are great guys. They've gone through some wo ways and woes. They've gone through some difficulties too. But I want to tell you way back seven years ago, when you look at my very first video, before I made this YouTube channel, I was already a subscriber to these guys, these guys in the beginning. And I was on there, their lives. I was, I was talking to them. Um, Dwayne from DSD. And gosh, forgive me. Um, it's, uh, 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 divorced paleo and broke, I think it's called, or broke paleo and divorced. Forgive, I don't know the name, but he's a great guy too. He's really cool. He's, he's found some really like, um, he's more like spiritually balanced now. He's trans, he's transitioned over the years into a great person. <clears throat> Dwayne. I like Dwayne so much. Um, I was one of his first subscribers. I wanted we barely had like a couple hundred subscribers and I was one of his first subscribers and he actually asked me, I remember being on his lives and talking, communicating, and he had maybe like 10, 15 people on there at a time communicating small handful. And it was just in the beginning it was years ago. And I remember, um, watching him and it was a small channel and then I decided to make this YouTube channel. Um, shortly after the watching their channels, I'm like, these guys are talking about their pain. It was my way to kind of get it out. I don't have no one else to talk to. And let me just talk about it on this video. Maybe I can kind of get a, um, to be honest with you, I can kind of get a, um, I'm just going to tell you, I wanted to kind of keep a record of it because I was thinking about committing suicide. And, um, at the time, and I'm not, that's not me anymore. That's not me. That's not my thoughts. It's not my life. No way, no how I'm strengthening. I'm sitting in front of the gym right now. I'm going to go in the gym and I'm getting stronger mentally, physically, emotionally. I'm drinking my protein shakes. Look at this. Look at all I got in here. Protein shakes and water. Okay. <laughs> and so, and so when, when you, what I want you to do is I want you to, the basic, the whole nuts and bolts of this whole thing is I want you to cut off the negative talk. It'll come into mind and you're just about to say it. And I want you to catch yourself, sharpen your senses and catch yourself, block it out of your, out of your mouth, take it out of your mouth. I know I'll see her in the future and I'll, I'll be there with my daughter, my son, you know, as beautiful, say something beautiful about them, how beautiful they are, their cute little toes when they were little babies. I don't care. You're going to say something positive, beautiful, and and, 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 and and something bright towards the future. I feel it. I know I'll see him again. I feel it. I know my ex-wife will come around. I know I, I know she's going to allow me to talk to them. I, I can feel it. it time, times, it'll, it'll get better. It'll get better. It'll get better. It'll get better. And it'll get better. And guess what? And you keep thinking, speaking, and talking that way, okay, it will get better. It does get better. It does get better. Tell me if it has not gotten better. Somebody on here, please comment down below and tell me how good it's gotten. And if it's not good right now, I want you to comment down below and tell me how good it's going to get. It's going to get good for you. We have to speak those positive, bright moments into our life. We have to. We have to. You have to, or you, you can't live your last day because we don't know if it's tomorrow. I died and I came back to life. We don't know if it's tomorrow. We don't know if it's going to take us out. We don't know. And you don't want to live the last moments of your life knowing that the words and the thoughts that came out of your mind were that was, was your terror that you lived through. Nah, nah, cut it off. It cut it off. It's, uh, it's gone. We're going to only speak, think, and, and, and talk and act 
a brighter future for our, uh, it's going to happen. And every time you have the opportunity to speak to your spouse or send a message or, or, or talk to your children of some sort, you consistent, stay consistent and solid with loving arms. Do not give up. Do not give up. Stay consistent and solid with open door, with a loving open door and open arms. I'm here for you. I'm here for you when you need me. Daddy loves you. Don't forget. Mommy loves you. Don't forget me. I'm here. Don't forget our love that we have for you. I can't wait to hold you in my arms again. I, I, I miss you. I'll never, forget, I'll never forget our conversation. It, it means so much to me. And um, guys, I, I, I spoke too long, but thank you for listening to me. I love you guys. Come on, man. Come on, guys. All right. I love you. Bye.